Welcome guys, this is Gagan from LiveLearnings.com and this is the 6th video tutorial of PIC16F886 and in this video tutorial I will show you how you can create uh, one LED chasing effect like this and uh, I will discuss how you can define a user defined name to a port and uh, how to use the bitwise operator shift left and shift right. Let's move to the programming side. I already create a project with name LED chase. Let's start writing the program. First I need void main, this main function. Then first how we can give a user defined name to a port. Let's suppose I want to give a name to port C. So to give a name write hash then define space the user defined name like LED then port C. Now instead of writing port C in my program like port C is equal to some value instead of writing port C in code I will now use LED because it is a defined name to port C. So in this way we define a name a user defined name to a port of microcontroller. Let's do the same with the tri-state resistor for port C. So I want to give a name LED underscore DIR for tri-state C hash define LED underscore direction on TRISC tri-state resistor C. Because the tri-state resistor will define the direction of port C input or output that's why I give a simple name to tri-state resistor as LED direction because LED is port C and LED direction is twist C. We will use LED and LED direction in our program. So let's first define the direction of port C. LED underscore direction is equal to 0x00 for an output. So now we can write a value to port C like LED is equal to 0x00. So instead of writing tri-state resistor, I write LED underscore direction because we define the name to tri-state C. Instead of writing the port C, I give a name to port C is equal to LED. That's why I write LED here. Let's create an infinite loop with while 1. And this is the starting of while 1 and this is the termination of while 1. In this video tutorial, I will show you how you can use the bitwise shift left and shift right operators. So this is the shift left operator and this is the shift right operator. How you can use these operator? First we need a variable on the left hand side. Suppose if the variable is x and you want to shift this variable to left by 1, you can give the amount of shift to the right side of the operator. So this is the operator shift left. This is the variable x and this is the amount of shift which you need to apply on that variable. So if I write 1, the variable x will be shifted to left by 1. If I write 4, the variable x will be shifted to left by 4. Or if I write 8, the variable x will be shifted to left by 8. So this is same for shift right operator. So you have to first write the name of variable which you want to shift. So x is the variable and the amount of shift. So if I write 4, this instruction will shift the value of resistor x to right by 4. So we have to first declare a variable to use for our application. I am declaring it for a character. Character x is equal to 0x01 because if I initialize the variable from 0 so there is no mean to use the shift of operators because 0 if shifted to left or right side there is no use of this shifting. So I am initializing the variable from 1 and I will first use the left shift operator. Now if I write like x is equal to x then shift left by 1 then now this 1 will be shifted to left by 1 and it will become 2. Now if I write x is equal to x shift left by 1 and what is the value of x here? The value of x here is 2 and if this 2 shifted to left by 1 the value will be 4. Now again if I write x is equal to x shift left by 1 then this value the 4 because this is the last value of the x this value will become 8. It will be clear to you if you see this image. On the left side you can see 
we have to initialize the variable from 1 so when we shift the variable by 1 to left this value becomes 2 again if we shift the value of variable to left by 1 it will become 4 again shifting to left by 1 8 again shifting 1 0 2 0 4 0 and 8 0 because we have a port of 8 bits that's why we will go for shifting of a variable up to 8 times I want to modify this program a little bit I want the output on port C and port C has a name which is LED LED is equal to X after that I will provide a delay of 500 milliseconds now just concentrate on first three instructions first we initialize the x variable to 1 then we equate this x variable to LED or to port C so port C is equal to 0x01 then we add a delay of 500 milliseconds now we shift the variable by 1 to left and if I just copy and paste these instructions after the delay now what will be the value of X it will be 2 and we are equating this value to LED or port C now what will be the value on port C it will be 2 and again there is a delay of 500 milliseconds so let's again copy these two instructions and paste it here now what is the value of X it is 4 because the last value was 2 and this 2 is shifted to left by 1 now it becomes 4 and we are equating this value 4 to port C or LED and then again there is a delay of 500 milliseconds so we will repeat this process up to 8 times now this is for 1 2 3 and 4 times 5 6 7 and 8 times and here the value will be 80 40 20 and 10 so we have a shifting of a variable x by 1 up to 8 times so this is 1 2 4 8 then 10 20 40 and 80 so let's first compile this program now I have this simulation model already prepared for our simulation double click on the controller make sure it is 16 megahertz and select the hex file which you want to load in the simulation model hit the play button and see one shifted to next LED automatically and after 8 positions it will again come back to 1 because all of the instructions are under while 1 so this is the use of a shift left operator to create the chasing effect on port C let's try it on hardware so we have LEDs connected to port C let's try to upload the hex file so you can see the same output is on the hardware as the simulation so let's try to vary the delay we are using a delay of 500 milliseconds if I change the delay to 100 milliseconds for every shift then what will happen the speed of turning on and off of the LEDs will increase now I change the delay from 500 milliseconds to 100 milliseconds let's again build it now you can see the shifting of 1 on port C is fast because we provide a lesser delay now this is the shifting from right side to left side if you want to shift from left to right you can use shift right operator but for that we have to initialize the variable from 8 0 because of this you can see if we want to start from left side and we want to go to right side we have to initialize the variable to maximum value which is 8 0 in this case so I initialize the variable to 8 0 and we will shift the value of variable to right by 1 now I change the variables initial value from 0 1 to 8 0 and I start shifting the variable to right side by 1 now you can see what is the direction of chasing it is from this side to this side because we change the program to shift the variable from left to right by using this bitwise operator 
thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe my channel